Dex! Lynn Aloud here, and today I'll be hosting my very first Listen Out Loud podcast. Needless to say, I'm majorly stoked. You can't see it, but I'm throwing up the goats. Rocking! So, what I thought I'd do is give you guys a virtual tour of my little home studio here in my bedroom. And here to join me is my roadie, Chunk. Because who knows my gear better than him? Right, Chunky? Right as rain, love. I've been hauling it around long enough, haven't I? And I got scars to prove it, like this beauty on me shin. Uh, did they can't see you. Blimey. Well, it's kind of an angry purple, shaped a bit like Maggie Thatcher's head. Chunk, getting you off, dude. Right. I'll save it for the rockumentary. Anyway, this studio is where it all happens, people. The rock, the roll, and everything in between. Fucking out in my home studio. Kick it out to jams, baby. Go, go, go. Luna, you woke me up. Whoa, Luann, didn't see you there, dude. Why are you catching Z's in the middle of the day? Because you kept waking me up last night yelling, stage dive, in your sleep. Oh, yeah. Those were some rad dreams. Sorry about that, brah. So check it out, I'm doing my podcast. Do you mind crashing somewhere else? Hey, you're welcome to crash in me van, love. Ah, uh, thanks. But I can just sleep in Lana's bed. Dude, that's where her snake likes to hide. Yeah, still better. Okay, peeps, back to the studio tour. So, this is my guitar, my main axe, my trusty Logan V80 shredder. This baby and I go way back. See, when I was nine, I went to my first McSwagger concert. That night changed my life. Well, Mick said it best. It was a June night when she saw the line. Up until then she didn't know what was right. She That's when I knew that show. rock and roll was my destiny. So for my 10th birthday, the Rents bought me this guitar. And the rest is rock history. And right here is my amp. It's a Starrett ES200. Fondly known as the Toe Buster. Two of my nails won't grow back on account of this beast. Believe it or not, someone actually threw this baby out. I found it on the curb, brought it home, and Chunk helped me rewire it. That's what I'd do. With this rig, I can play any style I want. Blues! Rock! Fuck! Metal! our neighbor. Sorry, Mr. Grouse, just doing a podcast. I don't know what that means and I don't care. And just keep it down. Rock and roll. Okay, Chunk, let's not antagonize him. Sure thing, Mr. Grouse. You have a rocking afternoon, dude. I don't know what that means either. Anyway, guitar was my first love. But the more I got into music, the more I started trying out different instruments. Over here, we've got my electronic keyboard. It's got lots of cool settings. Grand piano, organ, vibraphone, and space Whoa. Ooh, that one's me favorite. My too. Every time I play it, Lincoln thinks aliens are invading and hides under his bed. Anyway, moving on. This is my bass. And these bad boys are my drums. Chunk cooked me up with these. That's right, found them in a pawn shop, didn't I? Just needed a bit of paint, some new drum heads, and Bob's your uncle. Before I got these, I had to use empty paint cans and tin foil. But now, I sound like a pro, people. Check it out. Whoops. Sorry, Mr. Krause. Just got a little carried away. I can't wait till you're off to college. He doesn't mean that. <laughs> we get along great. Wait, love. Didn't we soundproof your room a little while back? Yeah, we put up all those egg cartons on the walls, but Luann was making so many puns, I couldn't deal, dude. That's right. I had to scramble to come up with them. I almost cracked. But then you took the cartons down and it was over easy. <laughs> Blimey, I see what you mean. Uh-huh. Anyway, moving on. Here's one of my go-to instruments. My acoustic guitar. Wanna keep it mellow and not wake Mr. Grouse. I pick up this guitar 
And it still rocks the house I dropped that little guitar you got When I wasn't wearing shoes I was lucky cause it's so darn light It didn't leave a bruise Ho oh, ho, what is that sweet jam? Need some accompaniment on the old cowbell? Huh? Little this? There it is. Hey, Bob Star. Uh, maybe we can jam later. Chunk and I are in the middle of doing a podcast. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds pretty cool. Hello, Chunk. Good to see you, mate. Likewise, Mr. L. Hey, everyone. This is my dad. He's a musician, too, so that's probably where I get my music genes from. Aw, oh, thanks, honey. Well, I'll get out of your hair. Okay, later. Oh, uh, one more thing. Maybe you want to tell your listeners about my band, Chef Lynn and the Concoctions. We're really starting to catch fire on the 40th birthday party circuit. I got a better idea, dude. Maybe you could host a podcast sometime and tell them yourself. Whoa, now you're talking. I have to go prepare. Okay, so where were we? Oh, yeah, I know. There's a lot of instruments people don't know I play. Some more out there kind of stuff. Like, uh, the sitar. <laughs> And the kalimba. And the vuvuzela. <gasps> and, of course, my trusty gong. I got it! Uh-oh. I don't think Mr. Grouse digs world music. That's it! I'm calling the cops, loud! Wait! M- Mr. Grouse! Wait, nothing! I've had enough! You want me to go deal with him, love? Nah, dude. That'll just make things worse. Hey, hey, hey there, Mr. Grouse! Wait, what's my dad up to? You know, it's funny. I was just whipping up a batch of the old linzanya, and I found myself with a whole extra tray! Well, I wouldn't say no to that. That's all yours, buddy. And tell you what, if we leave the cops out of this, I'll make sure Luna doesn't make too much of a racket. If you're trying to bribe me, this better be sausage! Thanks, Bob Star. You rule! All in the name of rock and roll, honey. He's a good bloke, your dad, if a bit strange. Well, Chunk, I think our time's just about up. It's been cool, y'all. Thanks so much for listening. What do you say? Should we play him out? You know it, buddy. As long as we keep it acoustic. Yep, good plan. Gotta, Gotta go, go, cause it's getting late. Keep on rocking in the 248. Yeah! Nick, 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 Nick.